Did you know that Gary Black sees a potential for Tesla stock to go 7x Black is one of those who stay bullish on Tesla? Despite various challenges encountered by the firm, Black believes that this has to happen in order for Tesla stock to sort keep watching. If you don't want to miss this news, tweet Gary Black gave his thoughts about Ron Barron's $4.5 trillion estimate for Tesla by the end of the decade. Ron Barron's $4.5 trillion dollar Tesla estimate over the next decade is extremely realistic. He thinks 20 million cars at 50K aspect, 30% operational margin, equaling 300 billion operating income times 15X FYL 4.5 trillion. That excludes robo taxi bots, batteries, everything except Dev's American mutual fund. Manager and investor Ron Barron estimates that Tesla shares might climb 570% over the next decade to a 4.5. Trillion dollar valuation famous investor Ron Barron of Barron Capital remains bullish on Tesla. In November, he told CNBC that he believes Tesla to turn in tremendous profits that would eventually lead to a firm valuation of over $4.5 trillion, up 570% from current levels. Barron is a longtime investor in Tesla first purchasing a position in the firm in 2014. He owns a joint investment in Tesla worth. Roughly $4 billion, the investor estimated that in 2025, the firm shares will be worth approximately five to $600 a piece. And in eight to 10 years, the entire value of the company will be about $4.5 trillion. The investor agrees with Elon Musk comments on the Q3 2024 earnings call that Tesla may be greater than Apple and Saudi Aramco combined, implying a valuation of over $4 trillion. The calculations underlying Barron's bullish target are based on Tesla's greatly expanding its business over the next decade sell, around 20 million vehicles a year. He also commented on Tesla's CEO Elon Musk's objective to create 20 million vehicles annually by 2030. In 2030, if he makes 20 million automobiles per year, they're $50,000 a car, that's $1 trillion in revenues, and he earns operating profits at somewhere around 30%, Barron said, adding a 50 next multiple on that $300 billion in operational earnings brings you to 4.5 trillion, the investor notes that the bullish case presented merely by the contribution from Tesla automobiles to revenue does not include other incredibly profitable areas that the firm is working on right now, uh, such as autonomous cars, robots, and batteries definitely offer a margin of safety for his investment. But that's not include robots, that's not include autonomous vehicles, that's not including batteries. He thinks robots are gonna be bigger than vehicles. So there's so many things occurring at Tesla. It's hard to keep up bare and explain. It can be noted that when Musk made the comment that Tesla will eventually be worth more than Apple and Saudi combined, he emphasized that the humanoid robot is not even taken into consideration. This implies that Musk has very high expectations for the humanoid robot and Tesla's valuation may even be higher if it was indeed included through a tweet Gary Black indicated agreement. Uh, with Ron Barron's Tesla value, Barron's Tesla valuation of four and a half trillion in a decade is in line with mine by 2030. Although we come at it in different ways, Black said he further explained that he projects 10.6 million Tesla EVs will produce 2030 EPS of 42. Assuming a 30 XP and 2032 X future EPS growth of 15 CGR, which equates to $1,260, a share valuation of around four and a half trillion dollars. However, Black, like the majority of Tesla investors, voice concern over Elon Musk focus on Twitter. Growing number of Tesla individual investors are expressing their misgivings that chief executive Elon Musk's involvement with Twitter and C may be to the detriment of the electric vehicle maker with the car company stuck on track for its worst full year performance. There is no Tesla CEO today, Gary. Black managing partner of the future, Fun LSC which owns roughly $50 million worth of Tesla, tweeted Black expressed his frustration after another sharp sell-off in Tesla stock shares in the world's largest car company by market value fell by more than 6% in mid-December. This is following a tumultuous weekend from Musk on Twitter when the billionaire took aim at the company's former head of trust and safety and called for the prosecution of top. Of government medical advisor Anthony Fauci as well as criticized people who offered their pronouns Without being asked, Black said the market voted today that the Tesla brand has been negatively impacted by the two Twitter drama where before EV buyers were proud to drive their Teslas, friends or show off Teslas in their uh, driveways. Now, the Twitter controversy is hurting Tesla's brand equity, Black. No, quoted Warren Buffett, an American business magnate investor and philanthropist and currently the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, Black said, 
in a tweet as Warren Buffett famously said, in the short run, the market is a voting machine, but in the long run, it's a weighing machine. We don't believe the Tesla brand has been impaired, but improved Tesla communications are clearly needed. Black then tagged the Tesla. Executives, CEO Elon Musk, head of investor, relations Martin Vita and member of the board, Hiromiki Mizuno Ross Gerber, a longtime backer of Tesla, tweeted a question directed at Tesla's board of directors, who is running Tesla day to day during this critical time for the company, Gerber said in another tweet. Gerber said, there's nothing wrong at Tesla at all on other than the CEO working at another company. Tesla deserves a focus, CEO. It would be helpful to know what Elon's plans are. Tesla shares are down more than 54.31% this year, putting it on pace for its worst year on record. The only other year when the shares fell was in 2016, when Tesla's stock closed down 10.97. Musk's Twitter takeover has generated fear among Tesla backers for months. Several encouraged the Tesla CEO to quit the deal and focus on the Eve maker while shares were already down about 30%. The stock has plummeted more in succeeding months amid mounting recession concerns and cost pressure from high inflation. Tesla also has reduced back vehicle delivery plans. Tesla stock has declined approximately 28 from the Twitter transaction concluded in late October through December 13th when it ended trading at its level in more than two years on the same day. Musk tweeted Tesla would be wonderful long, long term but doesn't control macroeconomic tides, he later added. I will make sure Tesla shareholders benefit from Twitter long-term. However, he did not disclose any plans much to investors' dismay in the week. Prior Musk said he continues to work on Tesla, as well as SpaceX, formerly known as Space Exploration Technology Corporation. I continue to oversee both Tesla and SpaceX, but the teams there are so good that often little is needed from me. He tweeted on the weekend in a July tweet, Black said my 2030 Tesla EPS forecast is $120 I attach at 2030p of 30x consistent with a 15 volume in earnings. Growth from 2030 on that's comparable to a 2030 uh, TT of 3,600 reducing that back at 13.1%, assuming a 3.5% 10 year T to the present equals $1,400 at the time. Tesla stock was trading at around $232 per share. However, note that this prediction was made before Tesla split its stock in August still it. Makes sense as the EV company stock is trading almost at the same level today as it did then, although it is considerably lower $232 in July as it is currently trading below 200 dark thought that Tesla stock is too cheap and that it should start buying back its own shares. Tesla bull and institutional investor Gary Black has said it is the right time for the company to perform a buyback as its price to earnings is the lowest it's been since COVID Black sent a letter to the Tesla board of directors with a recommendation on how to spend some of the company's growing cash or he wants them to buy back Tesla. Stock and share buybacks can boost any stock after all a company is just another buyer of shares. And when there are more buyers than sellers, stock prices rise. Black suggests that Tesla's board could authorize a $10 billion share buyback program and use the $5 billion to buy back shares. Immediately from CEO Elon Musk, it would solve the dual purpose of helping Musk finance Twitter, as well as minimize the overhang on purchases and Tesla shares and boost earnings per share upon receiving criticism on Twitter Audi for his plan. Black further explained that the buyback should be proposed in three years. Black said, a $10 billion buyback won't hurt the company with earnings expected to generate $18 billion in cash and $100 billion in free cash flow over the next three years. His assumption also includes all. Of the CapEx costs, including $35 billion for New Gigas Optimus, Dojo Robotaxis, and other initiatives, Black also posted an open letter he addressed to Tesla's board expressing his comments according to the letter Tesla is the future fund's largest holding and the company has full faith. Tesla's goods, plans, and management team subscribe to this channel and have a nice time 